Hello everyone and welcome to the 24th Objective-C tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be covering how we can create protocols in Objective-C. So protocols are quite basic and they're very similar to real-world protocols. So if you think of a protocol that you might have to follow at a business, it's like a set of rules or guidelines that are set forth and you have to abide by them. And Objective-C protocols are very similar. When you create a new protocol, you list a bunch of methods without their implementation, just the name and parameters, and essentially from that, you just have to conform to that protocol in your own classes. So the protocol will list a bunch of methods, and then you take some class and you say, okay, I'm going to be conforming to this protocol, which means you have to listen to the protocol. And if the protocol lists a bunch of methods, your class has to implement those methods. So that's really how an Objective-C protocol works. It may not seem that useful, but there are actually many times in Objective-C or um, when you get into iOS and other things, how you'll use protocols quite often. And we'll, we'll be talking a little more about how protocols can be useful in the coming tutorials as well. So what we're going to go ahead and do is add a new Objective-C class right here. So just go ahead and add it from your file template library or the file menu. Just create a new file, and we're going to be calling this class dog. So you can call it whatever you want, doesn't really matter, but that's what we're calling it. So in your dog.h, you can go ahead and put uh, int age, and obviously this is going to be a pretty simple class, but that's all we're going to have in this class is just an integer of age. So now we want to have setters and getters for our age, so go ahead and create a property. And again, since age is just a primitive type of integer, it's assign and read-write. So we don't actually have to have any attributes for this property. They're already default. So all we have to say is int age. And if you don't know how properties work, I have a tutorial on that. And um, I'll be using them probably quite often from here on out. So if you don't know how they work, just check back with that tutorial. So now that we have our property, of course, we have to synthesize this, and we can get rid of all this default code here. Just say at sign synthesize, synthesize age. So now we have our age and its property, so now we can set and get its value. So with that out of the way, let's create our uh, new protocol that we want. So we want our dog to be conforming to this protocol that we're going to be creating, so just keep that in mind. So let's go ahead and drag our Objective-C protocol file from the file template chooser, or again, you can go to the file menu at the top and choose a new file. So this protocol uh, is just a very simple example, and we're just going to be calling it logging. So it's going to basically work like an NS log. We're just going to be implementing a log method, and um, log is going to just print out some value that um, whatever's we'll talk about it in a bit, but the one method in our logging protocol is just going to be void and it's just going to be called log. So all log is going to do is just a simple method and it's going to obviously ns log something, or that's our idea with this log method. So now that we have this protocol called logging with our one method, void log, and again, protocols don't implement how they work at all, just the name, parameters, return type, etc. So that's all the log method looks like in our protocol. So now we want to say, well, our dog is going to conform to this logging protocol. And what we're going to have to do, since logging is a local file, we're going to have to import this. So we're just going to import logging.h. And to say that you conform to a protocol, you have to use the greater than, less than brackets. And all you have to do is put in the name of the protocol. And the name of the protocol was logging, which we created with logging.h right here. So now that we've imported the file and we're saying now, okay, dog, you are going to conform to this logging protocol. And what this means is if we were to try and build and run this right now, which I may as well try, we're going to get some other code here because, all right, maybe not, but anyway, you can see that uh, in dog.m, you can see that there's an issue that arises saying incomplete implementation which is because it says our method in protocol not implemented, which means our log method that we had in the logging protocol was never implemented in our dog class. And that's obvious because we haven't implemented yet. So all we have to do is go ahead and implement how the method works. 
So our protocol says you have to implement this and we're going to do that right now. So we'll just say void log and all and this log is going to do is ns log some value. So again, it's a pretty basic protocol, but um, it's just for example. So we're going to say ns log. Uh, this dog is blank years old. And in parameters, we're just going to say age. So anyway, this is uh, this dog is blank years old, and we could say self.age here if we want. Doesn't really matter, but uh, that's what we're doing here. So um, that's all we did for our log method, and we've completely implemented our logging protocol because again, we only had one method we needed to implement. So our dog class has now completely implemented what our logging protocol said it needed to. So now that we have that, uh, we've implemented all the methods, and now we can try this new object out in our main.m. So go ahead, import our dog.h, and now we want to create a new dog object. So dog, dog, gets dog alloc, oops, in it. And again, we didn't uh, create any special initializer, so nothing is initialized to start. So all we're going to do is say dog set age, and we're going to just set it to six. So now we have a dog object with the age of six, and now we just want to log our dog, and that doesn't rhyme at all. So dog log, pretty catchy. And um, so all this is going to do, of course, is call the log method from our dog class, and it's just going to ns log um, the age. So there you go. When we run this, this dog is six years old. So that's the basics of protocols. It's essentially just a list of methods that you have to implement uh, in a protocol. So um, protocol lists a bunch of methods, and the class that conforms to that protocol, you put in uh, brackets like that, or greater than less than signs, and uh, that just means you have to implement whatever methods are in the logging protocol, and we implement them in our implementation of the class. So it's a pretty simple concept, and there is more to um, more to protocols, and we're going to be talking about um, protocol stuff in the coming tutorial, so stick around for that. Well, anyway, this is the end of uh, this tutorial, so if you have any questions, please subscribe to the... Or, don't sub well, subscribe to the channel anyway, but if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel, and click on the odd ad if you so choose to. Alright, thank you, and I'll see you next tutorial.